Okay, we are back and we are at high school now. So we're going to talk yes. about OT and high school. And mm -hmm. at this point, there's transitions where they start thinking about going to college or working mm -hmm. or independent living, right? Yes, yes. So here, now we're starting to work on transition. What's going to happen after school? Um, does the student have the abilities to be employed? Or are we going to have to find another way for recreational and leisure, uh, giving them some opportunities within the community, and how to determine those things? So occupational therapy is involved in like, almost like you used to be called back in the day functional capacity evaluations, uh -huh. well, functional limitations, or so our students who have, may have uh, neuromuscular issues, like from cerebral palsy, can they actually do this? So a lot of employers will ask, can they lift? Can they do that? So I'll do an FCE, so a functional capacity oh. evaluation. Can they actually do that and then have it recorded so that they have that opportunity? Uh, so they don't have to go like through anyone else and show that they prove that they can. So it opens up a lot of opportunities, what adaptations uh, that would need to be at the workplace. And so I've gotten to see a lot of students who might not have had that opportunity kind of evolve and actually are employed in our community right now. Because so do you, do we were you work with any, uh, that, that brings up a good question then. Do you work with any community services where it's actually a smooth transition from like, are there work sites out there that work with the schools? I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yes, Waco has, uh, our transition team has really fostered some good relationships with uh, like Dillard's and different. Interesting. Uh, yeah, different restaurants within the community. We have also, you know, some some other uh, I don't know, businesses that have developed strong relationships with our transition team. So we're opening the avenue. They actually work at their facility during the day. So we come to school, they'll go to work. They have job coaches, job chaperones teaching them. And a significant portion of our students actually get employed where, where they are placed. That's awesome. So that's, that's really good. And we're teaching them how to use, of course, community mobility. So using, you know, buses or taxis, Ubers or all of that. So all that is done and completed by the time we say, so, so that is not, that is so OT. I mean, that is it is so it is. OT. It's but it's very much arranged by teachers, which is fantastic because you know they're doing all that we help develop the that it, it's just good to I'm glad that I'm I'm actually a part of it. I like to be more, but again, you're you're spread thin. Staffing. So it brings yeah. me to think about the the test, the work test. So are you a part yeah. of doing the activity analysis for those um the work test or or you go in and you evaluate the child or the the, mm -hmm. the young adult for their ability to do those tasks. And that that's the that's where OTs that's what we're good at, right? Right, exactly. So all the uh, industries and all the, you know, merchants that we actually use, I know what the job requirements are. So before our students are placed, they work on those skills. So we have whole task systems. So the task is putting awesome. big. Mm -hmm. So like if it's gonna, if you're going to be, you know, doing, uh, you know placing merchandise on different shelves and stuff we have merchandise that way if you have to fold the clothing to put to stack it we're going to do that so we we have all those systems set up so that the student is able to practice work and then they get there actually apply it at the work site that's awesome. so so what type of student typically fits that mold what what type of student do you see there well i mean we have we have it is the ability, the most important ability is be able to kind of follow a structured routine, right? Um, be able to communicate at a level where you're able to say, you know, yes, no, uh, one second, I need help, that kind of stuff. Uh, but generally, and in, in mobility impairment isn't, hasn't been an issue necessarily it's just really building those those uh, communication skills mm -hmm. that's the biggest and you know so a lot of autism kind of, do you see uh, autism in that program we have we yes we do have a lot of kids with autism in there 
yeah, usually we'll have to do more of like a job coaching for that. So we have to find the environment for that. So perhaps depending on behavioral issues or, you know, uh, sensorial type, you know, issues yeah. that are going yes. on, that yeah. some, we find them employment where it's before patrons are in or after. So stalking, awesome. you get ones, you know, where you don't have as much interaction with a whole lot of people coming right. at you. You just get your job done and move. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I know this is probably a little longer than we expected to be on here, but that that's really a good area to consider also for a capstone project. I mean, something. It is. Yes. Yeah, yeah yes. that would be really a, something good. So awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is high school in a nutshell. And we talked a little bit about AT there, uh, learning to use different, because um, you're going to, they're going to go into college and have to learn to use um, assistive technology a lot more there for organization and stuff like that. So I'm sure y'all have all kinds of things that you teach them as far as apps and stuff or. Well, yeah, there's apps for, you know, using the Google calendar. There's a lot just on Google docs that you can utilize uh, Gmail, the calendar, you know, just being able, just getting that, that experience. Now we have, because of COVID uh, it did increase in, you know, make it faster that our kids were given Chromebooks or iPads right. so that every we are in a we're a one to one school district. So everybody has either a Chromebook or an iPad. That has made it a lot easier. Uh, it's not as foreign to the students. Um, and then just apply, putting an app on an iPad, it's very easy, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, that's true. That yeah, every kid has that. Isn't that amazing how that is? <laughs> yeah. That's so there's so much. I mean, you know, voice to text is available. You know, it used to be that you had to pay for it, but now, you know, yeah, awesome. you knew it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the high school information. We're going to the elementary building now. See you later. Okay. okay.